Hey! Today I'm going to tell you about my favorite top VPN service. After testing over 20 privacy systems and based on the data collected and my thoughts, I found the best option that worked perfectly for me. I have been working with this VPN for over 7 years. It has many applications, powerful functions, highly customizable, excellent speeds. In this video, I will reveal to you 5 very useful secrets that few people know about, but which make it truly one of the most effective VPNs on the market. It's about iVPN. In order for you to experience this VPN too, I will leave to you a link to the official site under this video. Now take a close look at the screen, I will show you everything with a clear example. iVPN offers an interesting combination of power and ease of use, and also has an independently tested no login policy that we can truly believe in. The company's VPN looks average, with servers at 45 locations in 32 countries. In theory, torrents are supported on all servers, although the company politely asks users to avoid using P2P on servers in the US. Platform support is good, with open-source clients available for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android and Linux as well as detailed setup guides for routers, sometimes of NAS and more. Whatever devices you have, iVPN allows you to connect up to five at the same time. iVPN operates its own DNS servers, which is a nice addition to help prevent your online activity from being leaked to third parties. The multi-hub function allows you to route your traffic through two VPN servers. For example, a customer might connect to a VPN in London, travel over the network to New York, and then navigate to a target website. This website only sees your IP address in New York, and even if the server in New York is compromised, anyone tracking, it will only see your IP address in London, not yours. And much more. Blocking ads and trackers, support for high-speed wireguard protocol, payment via Bitcoin, and the list goes on. It's not just about functions, iVPN looks and feels like a different kind of VPN company, more open and transparent. If you are tired of security vendors that you don't know who is behind them, take a look at this page on the iVPN website with the names, photos, and biographies of 13 current team members, including where they used to work. The full iVPN Pro plan with all the features described here costs $10 per month and has a minimum discount of up to $8.33 on the annual plan. The limited iVPN basic plan is cheaper and $6 monthly billing, with the yearly plan that drops to $5, but it only supports two concurrent connections and eliminates port forwarding and a lot of hopping. While these are decent prices for what you get, there are much cheaper deals out there. iVPN asks for $100 for an annual pro plan. iVPN is serious about protecting the privacy of its users, and the company has undergone several independent audits to confirm its non-registration claims. The iVPN privacy policy is a clear and simple document of the right length words enough to include the details you need, but not verbose enough to catch key points. This document details the items it does not record, such as traffic, DNS queries, connection timestamps, session duration, IP addresses, and more. The company describes the information it collects in great detail. Forget the usual vague statements such as recording payment details, iVPN shows the exact fields it stores with examples to clarify this. These are not just encouraging words on a website, iVPN's claims of non-registration were confirmed by an independent audit. The problems have been fixed and verified, so the service is now much safer than it was. The iVPN client has a clean design with the available server locations displayed in the list. iVPN offers a free 3-day trial. You must provide your email address and billing details when registering, but if you cancel your subscription before the end of the trial period, you will not be billed. On the page after a registration, you will be asked to select the devices you want to configure. We chose the client for Windows, then loaded and installed it without any problems or other issues. The Windows client is very similar to any VPN mobile app. Here is a big connect button to access the fastest server. 
There is a list of locations to choose from, plus a settings dialog box with lots of configuration options. Connection times are fast and the client makes good use of desktop notifications, so you can see when you are connected. The location picker is simple, with no additional services other than ping times to give you an idea of the distance to the server. But there is no favorite system, no search box, no filters, not even a list of lost used. However, there are other smart ideas as well. For example, to minimize screen clutter, useful status information, virtual IP address, currently selected protocol, session duration is hidden in the connection information pane and is accessible with just one click. The POS function stops protection for a specified time, automatically re-establishing the connection when the time has expired. The tracker and ad blocker can be turned on and off from the main client panel, which is convenient if they interfere with the card site. You can enable the emergency switch in iVPN settings. The settings area is a dedicated area that has many powerful options and settings. You can create lists of trusted and untrusted wireless networks and, for example, define what the client should do when connecting to them. iVPN Firewall is a highly configurable kill switch type feature that blocks non-VPN traffic, and the connection panel can help you bypass VPN blocking by changing ports or using OPS proxy. Experts can even specify custom open VPN switches that override the client's own settings. Another important addition to iVPN is its multi-hub feature, as mentioned earlier, which can route your traffic through two VPN servers. You can configure this to define entry and exit servers like London and New York. We're not sure how much the average user will benefit from this, but at least it's easy to use. Click the Multi-Hop tab, select the Inbound and Outbound location, and you can connect and use the service as usual. iVPN sells itself very much for privacy and security, and the site barely mentions the ability to access blocked sites. We logged into a server in the UK and still tried to access BBC iPlayer, but got the standard error this content is not available in your region. The setbacks continued as US Netflix and Disney Plus blocked us too, but iVPN had won victory when we joined Amazon Prime Video. The support document explains that while some users can successfully unblock, iVPN makes no guarantees as to the availability of these servers when connected to our network. The company really places a premium on privacy and security above all else, and there is no obligation to unblock Netflix or anything else. Thanks for choosing us. Check out the channel for more videos.